Hey guys, this is James from Squid Gaming, and this is the second Skyrim creation kit tutorial. Um, so when you open your file again, uh, well, when you open the creation kit again, you want to go back to file, then data, select the ESM, and then also your mod plugin file, and click set as active file. If you don't do this, it's get some saving issues and it's a bitch to fix but yeah um, and hit OK and wait for that to load um, so yeah in this episode we'll be covering uh, adding clutter and containers and doors and everything to your um, your room uh, so this is like uh, buckets and lanterns and bits of leather and stuff. Um, you know, le uh, leveled weapons and armor, books, potions, and barrels and chests and stuff full of loot. Um, so yes, to all to that again. Um, also like benches and things to sit on and alchemy tables, tanning racks, enchanting tables, all that stuff. So yeah, when this is eventually finished loading, it seems to take a very long time. So you want to you type in, and then double click, so type in the name of it when you have this window selected, and it will try to find it for you. You'll see I've added a little bit extra to this, just to give me more room to demonstrate more stuff I can put in it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First things first, there are four different types of clutter. There's uh, miscellaneous items that you can pick up, put in your inventory, but they don't really do anything. Um, there's stuff that does do stuff as well, but yeah, it's just stuff you can pick up and put in your inventory. Then there's stuff that you can move and use the grab to pick up, but you can't actually put in your inventory, like uh, skull, certain skulls, bones, those carts, uh, wagon wheels, pots, and stuff like that. Um, then there's loot, so uh, weapons and armor, books, potions, and ingredients. And then um, containers, furniture, and doors and everything. So containers, stuff like barrels and chests. So firstly we'll go, let's add a bucket. So we want world objects and we want, um, imagine it would be, hmm, that's probably yeah, items. So for the miscellaneous stuff will be items and we go misc item. Let's go add a, a bucket. No, that's a broom, that's a bucket. And you can now go and turn off the snap to grid and angle thing if you want to place these a little bit more uh, naturally. Um, so yeah, that's how you add miscellaneous items and every other item. You can add uh, a briar heart there. It's a bad example because it's really tiny. Um, but yeah, bigger stuff. Atlas large, which apparently aren't that large. Oh, there we go. So there's an antlers and a bucket in our thing so far. And you can leave them hovering just above. Just make sure they're not intersecting with anything because that could cause problems later. Um, but there is a way to settle the physics so it'll sit properly. Then, if you want the stuff you can move but not add to your inventory, it's under this movable static thing. Um, so, a lot of crap in here. Let's go with a blood. No, I'll go rib cage. Nice bloody rib cage. So, 
So you see that you normally find those in troll cabins and things. Um, and that you can just bump around with your feet, but you can't actually pick it up. Um, then there is weapons, which is back in the items. is fairly self-explanatory once you know how to do this. You have clutter, so this is uh, dummy items I'll go into later. Um, so we have weapons, we go elven, you can add every item known to man in Skyrim. And also if you have a weapon mod and you want to add those weapons into a uh, thing, when you select data, you select the ESM of those weapon of that weapon mod in here. Oops. And you'll be able to find them in here somewhere. But you'll have to look up how to do that separately. Um, I won't cover that here. So, yeah, we have pick upable stuff, non pick upable stuff, weapons, and it works the same for armor. It's just there. Just chuck a bandit thing in there. Um, next is containers, which is probably one of the most complicated things. I'll go dungeons. I don't know. What's an architecture? Coffins. I don't really want a coffin. Um, so you can do all the Dwemer stuff. Uh, let's go a noble wardrobe. No. Let's go a noble chest. So there's those nice long ones you find in the rich houses. Actually, I won't do that. It doesn't really fit. Not sure. Torture victim container. That sounds a bit. Oh, well, you can beehives and stuff. This is just, uh, I guess, clutter is what I want, and it's just the random crap. So I'll add some uh, barrels in this corner. Just duplicate them. And also, if you want to add a little bit of interest, uh, so they're not all so repetitive, uh, select it, hold down S, and you can s scale it a little bit. So you can make a slightly smaller barrel. Um, make sure they're not touching. and slightly bigger barrel. But don't change them too much. Don't make them massive or really small because it'll screw up the textures and things. And also if it's really small and you can't move it, it'll seem a bit strange. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. Then one, you're selecting them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, you want to go edit. Uh, you can go open by default, which works for the things that have animations when you open them. So it'll look like it's already been um, like opened by someone else. Won't do that for the barrel ownership, so certain NPCs or factions can own it, like Stormcloak stuff and Imperial stuff, stuff like that. Um, now we want to lock it, so we can make it don't lock a barrel normally because locking barrels is point they don't have locks on them so it seems really strange um, there's all this different stuff which I'm not sure what all of it does um, and to put stuff in it I cannot quite remember just check um, So you click this edit base and that will, this barrel is a food barrel so it will randomly generate um, some food 
and it'll be the same type of food. You can change this to all sorts of stuff. Um, make it black some armor for all you want. Make it twenty. Um, and you can change the name of it as well. So, oops, cast lock. Seems really silly. I don't know why I'm bothering, but yeah. So that's the armor barrel. Those two are normal barrels. These will have food in them. That will have some uh, random armor. So that's containers. Now onto furniture, which is probably one of the more complicated things as well. It's in world objects, then furniture, and I will go clutter, common, let's see, get in the vampire coffin, so we'll just go a chair, chuck it in there, um, if you don't see that little man, the orange thing, the light blue things, uh, press tap M, and that will toggle markers on and off, you want them on most of the time. And for s this static stuff, you want to make sure it is touching the ground, else, you know, hovering, because it doesn't have physics, it'll just hover, and that will look a bit weird. So you have that, you got to make sure this thing is facing outwards, not facing at a wall, it would be a bit strange. So yeah, that's how you make a chair. Sorry if this is all getting a little bit long and repetitive, guys, but just in case you don't know how to do certain things, I'm just covering everything I can. So we have static props, which are containers, uh, non-static um, items, furniture. Static props are just these, like the walls and stuff that just never will move. I'll also put an I'll put like an alchemy table or something in here, which would be, not sure, imagine furniture, hmm, I'll get back to that maybe in a later episode or something, but it'll be in here somewhere and then it's just the same as the table. I'm just not sure where it is. Oh, here we go. Crafting. I'll put a spit and I'll put it in front of my fireplace here, so I'll rotate it around. Move that armor so it doesn't touch it. And I'll show you how to put the fireplace with a fire and a light in there as well in a later lighting video. Um, so that's nearly everything, of nearly how to do everything you can put down. So just follow those rules and just put whatever you want in there. An experiment, you can chuck. I'll show you how to put, uh, make bandits and things spawn. You can also put dead bodies in here. All sorts of stuff. Now, lastly, I want to show, if you go weapons, where is it, where is it? yeah, uh, weapon, clutter, dummy items say put a dummy bow which will only appear when you have markers on um, and that will double click on it and click edit base you want uh, where is it you can make it so AI don't pick it up which is probably best for a lot of things. Um, 
uh, here we go. So you can set it to spawn different stuff. Since it's a bow, you want it to spawn a bow. Let's find one. Uh, I don't want that one. It sounds boring. Here we go, Daedric Bow. So that will hopefully spawn a Daedric Bow when we go test this. And that works. You can do it for all the different weapons. It also works um, for armor. There's dummy items for armor. And also books and potions. So that's pretty much everything. Actually, one last thing. There's doors. These are the doors that just open and close. Don't take you to new areas. Just open and close. Said that already. Um, Dungeons Nordic doors. And we'll get a door small one. And for this, you would want to turn snapping back on. And it will fit perfectly in there and that will open and you can set these so they are open by default and you can also lock them so I'll make it a novice lock on that so yeah that's make it so it's not open as well it's kind of pointless if it is open but it's locked I'm not sure what happens if you do that. Uh, so that's everything I'll show you in this video. So I will now go file save and I will now open Skyrim. So I'll exit this, go all games, don't bother about all my stuff. I have a lot of games. You want to click play and go data files and you want to make sure I have some other mods here installed but you want to make sure this your mod is ticked. Click OK and press play and I will show you what to do from there. Okay guys so here we are in Skyrim and to get to your world at the moment, before we add a door to the actual world, you want to go to the console and type COC space and then the name, the editor ID of your cell, not the actual name but the editor ID. And you want to make that, so mine is Nord Ruin with no space. Hit enter and you will sort of teleport there. Oh, actually it looks like all of these changed to armor barrels. Oh god, it's a lot of armor in each barrel. Um, so yeah, there we have a fur armor, an elven war axe, we can kick that around. We have a cooking spit. We have our art large antlers in our bucket and our chair. And you notice it did take me not to the entrance of this level because oh god I forgot I lost this no it didn't take me to the entrance because it's retarded hey I leveled up isn't that nice and you'll see also if you have openings to the void like this it'll just be black and if you jump off it'll teleport you back to where you spawned and it will, it'll teleport you to the right place if you add a certain marker at this door, which I'll show you how to do um, when we add the exit doors. Uh, so yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you learned something.